On her wedding day, Nick in his tuxedo, waiting. Ashley in her wedding dress, walking in. He was about to see her for the first time. A tap on his shoulder. Turning around, you can see the pure joy, the hug. Nick told her she is the most beautiful person in the world. You are the most beautiful person in the world. And then it was time. Nick, one of the groomsmen. And then delivering a toast, Ashley told us tonight, that left everyone in tears. The most beautiful moment, like, on top of the most beautiful day, and it was perfect. He did really good. Ashley telling us the response after sharing their photos has been overwhelming. I'm very grateful for him. He's a brother. Couldn't ask for more. Perfect way to end the week. See you Monday. Good night. KITV4's Lindsay Pocano, weekdays on Good Morning Hawaii. On KITV4 Island News tonight, the city's controversial plan for a new look at Ala Moana Beach Park may get moved to Kaka'ako Gateway Park, and the mayor supports it. Mail in voting. Democrats approve in Hawaii. Republicans don't. With more than 300 heat-related cases sent to the nurse's office over the past four months, parents at Miu Valley Middle School want help. We'd like to get our classroom schooled not in two years, not in eight years. Due to a Rash of break-ins, home invasions, and a stabbing back in August. Residents in Palolo are considering a neighborhood watch. Crimes of this nature, violent crimes, and nice track. Did the Rainbow Wahine volleyball team survive regional play in the NCAA tournament in Wisconsin today? Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. There's a new scam targeting doctors in Hawaii. Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom George. In for Brenton Awat tonight, a Pearl City chiropractor claims a medical supplier that he trusted for years took him for thousands of dollars, then ghosted him. And he says he's not alone. The red line is him, the purple line is ideal. So because For decades, helping people with back, neck, and joint pain has been Dr. Eugene Kitt's labor of love. But recently, he needed some new tools of the trade at his practice in Pearl City. Knees, ankles, foots, they can be improved on by lowering this to the floor. He wanted to upgrade this x-ray machine, so he decided to buy a new one through someone who repaired and sold him equipment before. Dr. Kitts wrote a check for $25,000. It was cashed right away, but the machine never came. Of course, it was excuse after excuse after excuse. He gave him the benefit of the doubt, but soon the supplier stopped answering altogether. Never, I've never had anything like this ever in my life happen. And turns out they're not alone. After sharing their story, other doctors said the same thing happened to them. We called one of the numbers listed. We're sorry. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. And the company has been dissolved, according to the state. I really felt like I'd been taken advantage of. HPD confirms they're investigating a theft case. No arrests have been made yet, so the man's name hasn't been released. But Kiss says he hopes doctors will be on alert about who they buy from and says he just wants his money back so he can focus on doing what he loves. You, know, you get depressed about and you can get overly concerned about financial issues and not concentrate on doing a good job with the patient. Well, here's a live look at surf off Belzee Land on Oahu's North Shore tonight. Yeah, KTV 4 is meteorologist Pete Caggiano has got a look at our first forecast tonight. It's a big wave season. Is it going to stick around? Yeah, we've got those waves coming down. We've got another swell moving in. Let's go ahead straight to our graphics and show you what we do have. And we're watching our surf go down. So as we head through the night, we'll see that swell begin to fade. We'll see lower surf by our upcoming Saturday. So wave heights coming in at 9 to 15 in many locations just offshore. We're also watching some rain. We've had some scattered showers today and we'll continue to watch some light to moderate rain as we head into the evening hours. So a few light showers along the windward slopes right now. Not much into town. Had some rain earlier in the town, but so far most of the rain kind of hugging those windward slopes. We'll go ahead and take a look at your forecast as we head through tonight. Temperatures down into the middle 70s. Scattered passing showers possible. We expect those trade showers to kind of pick up in intensity as we head into the night. Likely not as rainy as last night, but still some rain. Coming up, we'll talk about how your weekend is shaping up. That's a a little bit later. Tom and Mika. Lulu fire investigators are still at the scene of a garage fire in Makakilo tonight. They're trying to figure out just what started that fire, which was reported around 420 this afternoon and put out just about an hour ago. HFT tells us the fire did not extend to the main house. 
Active combat may not be the primary driver of suicide among active duty U.S. Army soldiers as previously thought. A new UH Hilo study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Network Open compared suicide rates among Army service members from the 19th century to the 21st century. The authors found that historically suicides actually decreased during times of war until the so-called endless wars in Vietnam, Iraq and Afghanistan when the trend shifts. We were hoping to kind of broaden the base of inquiry that people are using to uh, address the current rates of military suicide because um, you can't really understand a problem until you understand the history of it. This is the largest historical study to date of suicide in the Army. Researchers next plan to comp compare suicide rates and trends in civilian and veteran data. Well, concerned residents in Palola want solutions to what some people are calling an uprise in crime. Never want to hear that. Yeah, legislators, police, and community members are meeting next week to hopefully come up with some answers. KTV4's Nicole Tam joins us live in Palolo tonight. Nicole. Mika, Tom, that's right. Aside from this wind right now, it's calm and quiet here in Palolo, but according to Honolulu Police Department's crime mapping tool, this is the area where multiple reports of burglary, robbery, and theft have been reported within the last month. Now some residents want more safety tools in place to ensure their safety. Palolo Neighborhood Board Chair Randy Hack says he's been getting more calls from residents lately because of recent criminal activity in the area. Their safety, um, worry about their relative who might be at risk or themselves, and about the nature of the community that they live in, that these kinds of things can happen. Things like the break-in at a Palolo Valley home where two men assaulted and robbed a grandmother while her two-year-old granddaughter was home. Another was a double stabbing at Palolo Homes in August that sent two men to the hospital. I asked area residents just how safe they feel in the community and got mixed responses. Some say they feel safe because they lock everything up in their home while others are on edge because of the uprise in crime. Proposed ideas to combat crime include setting up a neighborhood watch where residents keep an eye out for others. It starts with the very locally, very small. And hopefully that may uh, speed up uh, responses of the authorities. Honolulu City Council member Ann Kobayashi is one of the organizers of the discussion. She says her neighborhood in Manoa had one for 10 years and believes it's working. Where there are those watches, there hasn't been robberies. So I'm going to try to convince the Palolo people that we should do the same thing. There just aren't enough police officers, so um, the more we can help them, the better. She hopes bringing legislators and the community together can help keep people safe. The meeting is next Wednesday at 6 o'clock at Palolo Elementary School. Reporting live in Palolo, Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Nicole. Well, new at 6 tonight, Honolulu Police Department will no longer consider your credit history when hiring. Now, this comes after the department settled a discrimination case with the State Civil Rights Commission. A former HPD worker who asked to be reinstated was rejected because of his credit history. As part of that settlement, the city paid the, uh, paid the complaint $95,000. HPD also agreed to better train their workers who are involved, uh, involved in that hiring process. KITV4 reached out to HPD for a comment but have not yet heard back. Temperatures are high, and so is the urgency to cool classrooms in East Oahu. To help, parents are making a push for action. KTV 4 TJ Horgan talked to the mom from the Cool Our Cakey Coalition. He joins us live tonight. TJ, what are they saying? Mika, Tom, it's a breezy night right now, but kids are long out of class. Now, in the four months of this current school year, there have been over 300 heat-related visits to the nurse's office at Niu Valley Middle School alone. Moms and dads want change, claiming classrooms are just too hot. It's not that hard to find a place to cool off in Hawaii Kai. But the classroom isn't an option for students and teachers in Kaiser Complex schools. After recess, you go inside 
It takes a long time to cool off. According to the Department of Education, about half of its 11,000 classrooms across the state have working air conditioning. What's the hardest part of school right now? Concentrating on my, wor on my work. Why is it difficult to do that? <laughs> because it's always hot. Maggie Hong has three kids in Kaiser Complex schools. They come home and they're just telling me how hot it is and, and they're just dripping with sweat. And they inspired her to start the Cool Our Cakey Coalition, lobbying political leaders to help them beat the heat. And working with our area elected officials and our principals to get um, funding to have ACs in all six schools of our Kaiser Complex area. They're among the 153 schools that have completed assessments under the DOE's school-directed AC program. We'd like to get our classrooms cooled not in two years, not in eight years. We'd like to get them cooled as soon as possible. But who knew cold air could be such a hot commodity? 10 to 15,000 per classroom to cool the classrooms. From the Keiki's perspective, it has nothing to do with money. Last one up's a rotten egg. <laughs> I guess we'll call it a tie. <laughs> yeah. The sweat gets into your eyes, and when it gets into your eyes, it burns. A mother of three lobbying politicians isn't a calling Maggie Hong ever expected to undertake. The biggest challenge has been being able to get some kind of a clear understanding of what what it would look like, the process would look like. Next Tuesday at the state capitol, the coalition's meeting with lawmakers to hopefully map out a timeline. We want something to be done now, and we'd like to make um, the cooling of all classrooms across Hawaii an ongoing priority. The Kaiser Complex umbrella has six schools and 217 classrooms. The coalition claims only 47 of them have working air conditioning. Now, for the parents involved, until the demand for AC is filled, there's no time to chill. Reporting live, TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, TJ. Honolulu police say an out-of-state phone call triggered a possible threat at the University of Hawaii at Manoa today. The university's Department of Public Safety says campus operations were normal by 9 this morning. The school sent out notifications via social media and email. Well, Big Island firefighters rescued a 16-year-old boy who fell into the water while fishing at McKenzie State Recreation Area yesterday. He was fighting some strong currents when crews pulled him out of the water. The crews treated him for hypothermia, exhaustion, and near drowning and transported him to the Hilo Medical Center. There could be a change of plans for a controversial new playground in Honolulu. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, after some major pushback from some residents, we'll tell you the new target location for that project. And NCAA Tournament Sweet 16 Volleyball today for the Rainbow Wahine. Cody Krupp joining us from the newsroom. And Cody, you're an expert on Wisconsin. How did they uh, stay hot there in the frozen tundra? Yeah, well, Tom, thankfully for them, they play volleyball inside and not outside as they try to keep their season alive by punching a ticket to the lead eight. We're going to have highlights and reaction coming up on KHV4 Island Sports. Still ahead, heated moments at the state capitol today. How is UH Manoa's budgeting looking for the upcoming year? We'll be right back. Who was stealing from the biggest boy bands ever? I was in the biggest band in the world, but I can't even afford my apartment. He was robbing them blind. Now, what you don't know, the 2020 event, tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. Life is the rhythm that connects us. We are vessels of aloha. Love connecting all. In ways big and small, we make a difference. Connecting empowers us to change the world. When we connect, something greater happens. Drivers just won't put their phones down. We need a solution. Introducing Smart Dogs, the first dogs trained to train humans, stopping drivers from liking, selfie, and whatever this is. Available to the public? Never. Smart dogs are not the answer. But Geico has a simple tip. Turn on do not disturb while driving mode. Brought to you by Geico.
If you are living with a condition, Kaiser Permanente's integrated care team will help you get through life without missing a beat. Kaiser Permanente, thrive. Toyota Thon is on, and the deals are heating up this winter at your Servco Toyota dealers. Get a 2019 Tacoma Double Cab TRD Sport for just $32,395. Choose a 2019 CHR XLE for only $22,795. Or drive away in a 2020 Corolla LE for $18,895. When the year ends, so does this sale. So hurry in today for the best selection because Toyota Thon is on at your Servco Toyota dealers. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. Time now 613. Want to go to a KITV4 update to a story we first brought you earlier this week. Honolulu police yesterday arrested a 34-year-old man suspected of robbing the first Hawaiian bank branch on North King Street on Tuesday. He was picked up in Manoa last night for second-degree theft. Police say he handed the teller a note demanding money and got away with an undisclosed amount of cash. New at 6 o'clock, organizers of a controversial new playground that was slated for Ala Moana Beach Park are targeting a different location. The one-acre playground that would be inclusive of all children is now expected to be built at the Kaka'akumakai Gateway Park nearby. Some residents pushed back against the original plan, saying Ala Moana is one of the few green spaces left in the city. Supporters say one in seven children on Oahu have an injury or a disability that prevent them from accessing regular playgrounds. This one would offer active and quiet play zones, including an ADA-compliant family bathroom with an adult-sized changing table, perimeter fencing, and security. State Senators grilled University of Hawaii officials today at the state capitol. Yeah, the informational briefing uh, was so the Ways and Means Committee and Higher Education Committee could get an update on the UH system and its budget requests. University officials say they're asking for money for new health initiatives on Maui, mental health professionals on campuses, and some other programs. But during that four-hour meeting, Senators peppered UH President David Lastner, members of the Board of Regents, and the Cancer Center direct, uh, Director on enrollment issues, salary increases, and other topics. Well, we're all talking about the 2020 election next mm -hmm. year, and the big question, is Hawaii prepared to vote by mail? That's the question. Coming up on KITV for Island News, the big change to elections is causing some mixed reactions. And some scattered rains today after a wet night last night. And more rain on the way tonight, Pete. That's right, get some scattered rain expected tonight. We'll let you know if the, the weekend will be uh, just as wet. Tracking some rain right now, though, moving towards Kauai. We'll take you out into our Windward Mall cam, and this is from Kaneohe. You can see some low-level clouds and, yes, a few light showers possible. We'll have your forecast coming up after the break. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. Honda Days is on now. Unwrap the joy of a new Civic Sedan, the best-selling car in its class. That's all right. Aloha and welcome aboard. With Hawaiian Airlines, you feel at home on every flight. We treat you like family, so of course, we serve you a complimentary meal. We seat you together and make sure you're comfortable. The spirit of Hawaii is in everything we do. Hawaii flies with us. We are proud to celebrate 90 years of serving the islands. Aloha, this is Pastor Bula, and I'll share with you an important faith-based film, The Islands. It's based on the incredible true story of a Hawaiian chiefess who found Christ in 1821 and risked her life going to the volcano. People have come out of the screening saying their lives were changed. Others say their faith was restored. As a pastor and leader in a prison ministry, I can tell you that Hawaii needs Christ now more than ever. This movie opens in theaters on December 6th. Hope to see you there. Mahalo ke akua. Everyone has a family, but no two families are quite alike. At HMSA, we understand that and why you want health care coverage that works for you. So we make sure you can see the doctors and specialists you choose convenient to home, work, and school. That you have urgent care when you need it. 
and coverage when you travel. HMSA will be there for your family, for your health and well-being, for life. To learn more, visit HMSA.com. Okay, sweetie, you're up. Uncle Elf, can you hook me up with a brand new Kia? I know a guy. Oh, oh, oh. At the Aloha Kia Holiday Sticker Sales Event, you can save big with up to $2,000 bonus cash plus zero APR for up to 66 months on select vehicles. Like the 2019 Kia Optima, the 2020 Kia Sportage, and more. I remember Aloha Kia, you know a guy. Let's take you to the North Shore. This video taken from Sunset Beach. Today, we still had some pretty large waves. Nothing like what we had yesterday, but still quite large waves there. You can see the uh, surfers out there enjoying the conditions. Surf on its way down, but we've got more swells on the way. So we'll be looking for uh, another swell early next week. Right now, watching that surf energy come down and only five to eight footers expected for your Saturday. Sunday, not much waves, but here comes that next swell, another large northwest on Monday. This could be approaching warning level, so 15 to 25 footers is the current forecast, but uh, we'll kind of refine that forecast as this next storm system gets developed. Uh, nonetheless, it'll be big on Monday, certainly. Uh, waves for tomorrow coming down, maybe a little bit more manageable, five to eight for the North Shore, three to five for West, three to six for East, and one to three on South Shores. We have a Northeast swell tomorrow. It's a small one, and then a large Northwest again as we move into our Monday. Watching some very heavy rainfall just offshore of Kauai. It's about 50 miles away, but you'll notice it's lifting more to the north and west. So we expect the bulk of this to, to stay just west of us as a frontal boundary kind of drifts back to the west. So this should not be a concern. We'll keep an eye on it, but it's going to move away for the most part. A couple of rain showers, though, heading for the uh, the Garden Isle. So we've got some scattered showers. Heads up as we head into the evening. We'll watch some of this rainfall move on shore onto the windward shore. It's dried out here on Oahu after a few showers earlier. Things are looking better, but I think as we head past 8, 9 o'clock, we'll start to see a few more trade showers develop and eventually move move on shore. Maui County pretty dry. The Big Island not looking at a whole lot of rainfall. So improving conditions is what we're expecting as we head into the weekend. However, we still have some rain out there. So for tonight, not as wet as last night, but we'll still have the trade showers. So scattered trade showers past 8, 9 o'clock tonight. They'll start to get going. We'll see them mainly focusing on Windward and Malka, but a few could make it into town. Cloudy skies in the morning tomorrow and then a mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon. So clouds in the morning, some trade showers in the morning. Afternoon, though, we start to see those clouds thin a bit, a little sunshine developing, and then even sunnier weather for Sunday. So for tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, passing rains for the windward side of the Big Island, Kona side looking dry at 85. On to Maui County, some morning scattered passing trade showers, clouds again in the morning here in Oahu, and then the afternoon we'll start to see those clouds thin on out. A few passing trade showers mainly in the morning hours and trade winds out of the east to northeast at 10 to 15. Honey Pepe coming in at 79 degrees. Tonight, 72 is the expected low. Those trade showers late into tomorrow getting up to around 84 degrees. Clouds start to thin out. We'll see some peaks of sunshine by the afternoon and then much more sun on Sunday. That's probably the best uh, day of the weekend. We'll have our trades at 10 to 15. Those trades become breezy again as we head into next week. So uh, wet night last night, tonight. Some trade showers likely not as wet, but still a few passing trades. And of course, we've got that big surf again coming next Monday. Yeah, people love that big surf, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was huge just a, just a yeah. day ago, yes. All right, well, new at six, uh, the Office of Hawaiian Affairs staff today trading the office tire for jeans and sneakers today in Wahiwa. After that blessing and offering ceremony, they planted 1,000 native trees, including koa, lonomea, and ko, near the Kukani Loko birthing stone in Wahiwa. It's part of an effort to return part of Oha lands to native forests. The birthing stones are part of a sacred native Hawaiian cultural site where the highest ranking royalty were born. Great to see. All right.
Also great to see fight season on the Ninth Island. Uh, Cody Krupp in for Brandy Higa for sports. That's yes, right, and Cody just one day away from Max Holloway in UFC 245. That's right, the I native and UFC featherweight champ. He may wait today, so we're going to hear from him one more time at least. And also today, UH Women's Volleyball in action for a little Sweet 16 against Nebraska. So we're going to have that. Coming up again to be four Island Sports, are they still alive and going to the lead eight? We're going to find out. Who was stealing from the biggest boy bands ever? I was in the biggest band in the world, but I can't even afford my apartment. He was robbing them blind. Now, what you don't know, the 2020 event, tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Hawaiian Host. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Our members shop a little differently. So we reward every purchase. Let's see what Kate said. For you, for all of us. That's for me. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Stop by your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store this holiday season for one of our delicious party platters, Deluxe Sushi. Game time spam musubi, chicken adobo pancit, sesame chicken salad, sandwich platter, and assorted mochi. Visit or call your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store to place your order today. Mahalo for your help. Because of you, this holiday season was a lot brighter for many local families. Kia aloha aina. He vahi leo kea mai ka aina pula mai ano o helu moa. Well, we can still use your help. There are families in need all year long. For more information on how you can make a difference in Hawaii, visit Helping Hands online. UH Women's Volleyball back in its rightful place among the top teams in the nation as it's been a season of resurgence and the road for the bowl has led to this year's Sweet 16 in Madison, Wisconsin, the farthest any team has reached in this tournament since 2015. What's up, everybody? I'm Cody Krupp, and welcome to sports. And coming into this season with just one returning starter and nine new faces on the roster, so very few besides those in the locker room could have seen what this team could have possibly achieved. But head coach Robin Amal, she saw it from the very first practice as she was quoted, the level of play was nowhere close to the first two years I got here. And they've went out and proved their coach right all season long. Hawaii showing you their trademark. They are really a good ball control team. Digging in, of course, first contact serve, receive high flat. And nice track. chase that time by Matty Kubik, but Nebraska unable to follow up. So UH coming out of the gates red hot as they had Nebraska on their toes going toe to toe with that six ranked Cornhuskers. The Wahine were the first to 15. There was a lean but mean Brook Van Sickle. Nebraska did take their first lead at 17 16, but Hawaii the first to 20. And things were looking real good to take the first set as set point at 24 23. But the senior Norino C has sent it long. So we went on. So another set point chance 27. 26, but were unable to shut the door as Nebraska capitalized with their own set point at 28-27. That went into the net, so the Cornhuskers took the first set. 
And in the second set, UH, they rallied back from down five to take the lead at 16-15. But for the rest of this match, it was all Nebraska as they took the second set 25-22. And this season is going to come to an end with a sweep in the Sweet 16 for UH, 25-19 in that final set. But again, what an effort from this 2019 team led by a senior group that has brought the swagger back to Rainbow Wahine Volleyball. New girls in and out, five freshmen, and because of the seniors and what and the you know the classmen were here, they did a great job. <laughs> Told the juniors, I'm like, you guys got really big shoes to fill. You know, these guys did great from spring, and yeah, I'm proud of them. Yeah. Oh. Big West champions finishing with a 26-4 record and a trip to the Sweet 16. Again, the farthest that any team has reached since 2015, so nothing to put their heads about for this 2019 squad. 145. Max Blessed Holloway making weight for UFC 245, so now that Y9 native's got his sights set on defending his featherweight belt tomorrow for the fourth time as he meets Alexander Volkanovsky in Las Vegas. The biggest thing I learned about myself is that uh, it's not how you start the race, how you finish, you know? Uh, I had a bad start in the UFC, went out strong. Knocked back down, had a 500 record, and now we're on this uh, unbelievable record, uh, uh, streak that people keep talking about. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. And uh, I got a lot more to do, a lot more time. I'm far from my prime, and uh, I can't wait. Exciting. So Holloway has won his last 14 fights at 145 pounds, which spans back to 2013. We're of course, of highlights tomorrow here on Can't Be Four Island Sports. See if he can make it 50. Yes, so he's a co-headliner, so it's tough to predict a time, but probably between 6.30 and 7.30 tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you have to purchase the package on ESPN+, Plus, but we'll definitely have the highlights for you yeah. at least at 10. And all, all my years in Vegas, fight night's always fun. Just uh, It's always fun seeing the trash talking and the weigh-ins. So. There's something about Vegas. Yeah, so exactly. It ramps up that UFC <laughs> atmosphere, so it should be pretty cool tomorrow. Definitely. Thanks, Cody. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. Honolulu firefighters are trying to figure out what sparked a garage fire in Makakilo this afternoon. If you're just joining us, here's a look at our top four stories on KITV4 Island News at 6 tonight. HFD was called out to Ualehe Street just before 4.30 this afternoon. Firefighters were able to prevent that fire from spreading to the home. Nobody was home at the time. Luckily, no injuries were reported. Honolulu police have opened a theft investigation after a Pearl City chiropractor claims he was ripped off tens of thousands of dollars. Dr. Eugene Kitt says he ordered a new x-ray machine from someone who sold him medical equipment before, but this time he sell the seller stopped responding. Kitt says others have reached out, saying they've been scammed as well. KITV4 is not naming the alleged scammer because no charges have been filed. And Palolo residents are invited to a community meeting next Wednesday to talk about crime that's been happening in their neighborhood. Honolulu Police Department's crime map shows multiple burglaries, robberies, and thefts just in the past month. Recently, two men broke into a home and assaulted a woman who was watching her two-year-old granddaughter. Among the solutions they're talking about, creating a neighborhood watch program. In the past four months, New Valley Middle School has seen more than 300 heat-related visits to the school nurse. That's prompting parents to create the Cool Our Cakey Coalition to help acquire air conditioning for classrooms. The organization claims one week in September, Cocoa Head Elementary classroom temperatures nearly hit 90 degrees. Well, new tonight, one of the suspects arrested in connection with yesterday's carjacking case in Waipahu has a lengthy criminal history. 25-year-old Victor Gaskin III has 13 prior convictions, including multiple unauthorized entry into motor vehicle cases. Ten of those convictions coming within the last two years. Police arrested Gaskin and three others after a brief manhunt in Waipahu. Police say Gaskin and another man were trying to steal a vehicle in Mokuli'ia when police arrived. They bolted in another stolen vehicle later found in Waipahu. The incident forced Waipahu High School and August Earns Elementary School into brief lockdowns.
New tonight, Hawaii U.S. Senator Brian Schatz wants more federal resources in the fight against meth. Today, he sent a letter to the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy asking it to treat the problem as a priority. Our partners over at the Civil Beat reporting last year, Hawaii saw 147 meth-related deaths statewide. That's four times higher than we saw 10 years ago. Senator Schatz says more people in Hawaii have died from meth than opioids in each of the past five years. Well, Election Day is about eight months away, but a concern is already growing about Hawaii's first ever vote by mail election. Ballots will be mailed to all 766,000 registered voters in July to mail back or drop off at any eight voter service centers statewide. KTV4's Annalisa Burgos gets reactions from across the political spectrum. Having an election entirely conducted by mail may be efficient, but it should still protect the spirit of democracy, says one nonpartisan nonprofit. Just saying we err on the side of caution, open a few more voter service centers so that people, if they don't get their ballot in the mail or have questions about their ballot, that they could go to a, a voter service center that's more conveniently located. Honolulu's election administrator says two sites are adequate, and about 60% of Oahu voters already vote by mail, so the change won't be too dramatic. It could also potentially boost historically low voter turnout. Political analyst Neil Milner is skeptical. You're not going to get, I don't think, a dramatic increase in turnout because turnout is not just about the ease of ballot. Ease shouldn't come at the expense of security, say local GOP party leaders, who discussed the issue with the Republican National Committee in D.C. this week. We're doing a lot of initiatives and best practices because, you know, we believe that the all-mail-in uh, voting has uh, potential for a lot of fraud and corruption. Democrats welcome the move. I'm very optimistic that for the Democratic Party run presidential primary, we will increase participation. We'll have more Democrats voting than we had four years ago. How smoothly things are run will depend on the state, Milner says. Imagine in, in this hacking age, the average layperson saying, well, why aren't they going to just go in and steal my vote? I mean, how hard is it? We've been fished. We've been hacked. You know, I've lost money with some credit card scam. You're going to have to do a lot of education. Annalisa Burgos, KITV4 Island News. New at 6, Honolulu City Council member Tommy Waters wants to change the way the Honolulu prosecutor is chosen. Right now, the seat is elected by voters. Waters wants the mayor to appoint the position to eliminate the ability for the prosecutor to put himself or herself on paid administrative leave and to avoid an unelected appointee to fill that position in the meantime. Right now, Honolulu prosecutor Keith Kaneshiro is on paid leave after receiving a target letter from federal investigators connected to the Kealoha corruption case. If Waters' resolution passes, it would be put on the 2020 general election ballot ultimately for voters to decide. New tonight, a federal judge in Utah yesterday ruled that people born in the territory of American Samoa should be recognized as U.S. citizens. Right now, they're considered U.S. nationals, which means that they pay taxes, but they can't vote, run for office, or apply for certain government jobs. American Samoa is the only place in the country without an automatic claim to citizenship. Definitely a big deal. Certainly a large Samoan population here in Hawaii mm -hmm. as well. All right, well, the China-U.S. trade deal announced today means Americans will avoid a holiday tax increase on things like imported toys, clothing, and smartphones. It also means U.S. farmers can sell more soybeans and pork to China. This is just phase one of the deal. More rounds of the negotiations are expected to reach a more significant agreement. The Chinese side believes that as the top two economies of the world, China and the United States should bear in mind the larger interests in managing their economic and trade relations. Today's announcement comes after a 17-month trade war between the two countries. President Donald Trump says negotiations for phase two will begin immediately. Another step forward in the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. After the break, what to expect as the hearing now moves towards a full vote in the House. Time now, 6.36. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. Yes.
Happy Honda Days is on now. Unwrap the joy of a new Accord, the best midsize sedan in America, according to Car and Driver. That's all right. You know when you're at Ross and you realize it's time your sister stopped borrowing your sweaters? Yeah. That's yes for less. Stop stealing mine. Never. Holiday gifts everyone's sure to love at 20 to 60% off department store prices at Ross. Yes for less. Being diagnosed with any type of lung cancer or mesothelioma caused by asbestos exposure in the workplace is a devastating thing. That's where the Hawaii Personal Injury Law Firm of Gallagher, Day, Robertus, and Waxman can help. Call for more information and a free case review. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. It's early, a chance to fuel up for the day that lies ahead. After all, it's nice to get a good head start. Now at McDonald's, local breakfast platters are starting at just $4.99. Aloha and welcome aboard. With Hawaiian Airlines, you feel at home on every flight. We treat you like family, so of course, we serve you a complimentary meal. We seat you together and make sure you're comfortable. The spirit of Hawaii is in everything we do. Hawaii flies with us. We are proud to celebrate 90 years of serving the islands. You know when you're at Ross and you realize you are the hostess with the mostess? Yes. Yeah, that's yes for less. Entertain in style all season long. It feels even better when you find it for less. At Ross, yes for less. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. After months of investigation and weeks of testimony, the House Judiciary Committee passed two articles of impeachment against President Trump. As ABC's Inez de la Quetara reports, the vote left Republicans furious, but the president says he's not worried. It was a speedy conclusion to a marathon impeachment hearing. Aye. Mr. Jeffries? Aye. The House Judiciary Committee voting along strict party lines, 23 to 17, on two articles of impeachment against President Trump, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The committee's Democratic majority arguing President Trump must be removed from office to protect the integrity of future elections. He betrayed the nation. Uh, he moved us toward corrupt elections, uh, and uh, he abused his power. But Republicans are slamming the move. I have never in my entire life seen such an unfair, rigged railroad job against the President of the United States. The vote makes Trump just the fourth president in U.S. history to face impeachment by the House. I got to see enough of it, and certainly I spoke to my people. It's a witch hunt, it's a sham, it's a hoax. Trump now looking ahead to an all but certain Senate impeachment trial. Some advising him to stick to a shorter process so he can focus on other issues like his reelection campaign. But the president says he hasn't made up his mind yet. We did nothing wrong. So I'll do long or short. I've heard Mitch, I've heard Lindsay. I wouldn't mind the long process. Because I'd like to see the whistleblower who's a fraud. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell saying he is working in total coordination with the White House and telling Fox News. There's zero chance the president obviously would be removed from office and I'm hoping we'll have no defections at all. And Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer responding that if there is a trial, every single senator will take an oath to render impartial justice. The House's Democratic majority is expected to pass impeachment next Wednesday. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he'll take up the trial in the new year. Inez de la Quintera, ABC News on Capitol Hill. Democratic presidential candidates tonight are threatening to boycott next Thursday's debate at Loyola Marymount University in California. Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, Amy Klobuchar, Tom Steyer and Andrew Yang say they won't show up if they have to cross picket lines to do so. University workers, including cooks, dishwashers, cashiers, and servers, 
are in contract negotiations with the food service company they work for. They're calling for affordable health care and fair wages. The Democratic National Committee says it's trying to come up with a resolution. A landslide victory for the Conservative Party's Boris Johnson in the United Kingdom. Yeah, that has some questioning whether that big win might signal something similar for the U.S. next year. CNN's Andy Rose has reaction from President Trump and his opponents. I want to congratulate Boris Johnson on a terrific victory. I say thank you for the trust you have placed in us and in me. A landslide victory for UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the Conservative Party. I think that might be a harbinger of what's to come in our country. It was last time. I'm sure people will be thrilled to hear that. President Trump's Democratic opponents hit back. It's a little tough to draw comparisons because, of course, they're dealing with this Brexit issue that is just different than anything going on in the United States. I do think it's a good moment to remind ourselves that a conservative in a place like the UK would probably be considered a center-left Democrat in a place like the U.S. Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden slammed Johnson off camera, saying, quote, you're also going to see people saying, my God, Boris Johnson, who's kind of a physical and emotional clone of the president, is able to win. Biden says Johnson's win is the outcome of the U.K.'s Labor Party moving too far to the left. And the latest Democratic presidential candidate to enter the race expressed his concern. I think it's sort of a catastrophic warning to the... Uh, Democratic Party that you're just going to have to have somebody that can beat Donald Trump and that is not going to be easy. Andy Rose, KITV4. Yeah, definitely some interesting elections on both mm -hmm. sides of the pond going on. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, is someone watching you from inside your home? Kind of creepy. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, the latest in a string of hackers taking over ring doorbells to spy on households. Aloha, I'm Dave D from Good Morning Hawaii, taking a look at your traffic closures for this weekend. First of all, we start off with a couple of Christmas parades. The first one in my hometown of Waimanalo, closure of Kalanianoole Highway eastbound from Humuniki Street all the way to the beach park. And then we head on over to Waipahu, another Christmas parade. This one, a quick one from 3 to 345 at Paiva Street and Pupukahi. And as we head on over to downtown, we do have H1 lane closures in both directions from P.E. Koi to Makali. This is on Sunday from 8 to 12. And finally, we take a look at your weekend schedule for the Pali Highway. Here it is on your screen. If you want more info on your traffic closures, visit KITV.com. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. We stuffed the garlic knot then stuffed it on our delicious hand-tossed pizza. The stuffed garlic knots pizza from Pizza Hut. Order your mighty large pizza lined with 16 cheese-filled knots before they're gone. No one out pizzas the hut. You were born with a small footprint. You should go through life with one too. Let's be the generation that preserves Hawaii for generations to come. Together, we can reduce our carbon footprint and transition Hawaii to a 100% clean energy future. For the Aina, for Ohana, for our Hawaii. Join us at hawaiianelectric.com slash footprint. Holiday shopping just got easier with the one gift that always fits. Never the wrong color, never out of style. Give handed goodness with our classic cookies or our exclusive holiday flavors. Perfect for family, friends, or work. Welcome to the You Mailed It gift. Give Aloha from Honolulu Cookie Company. Ernest Hemingway wrote The Old Man in the Sea at 52. Satchel Paige was still dominating batters at 59. Celia Cruz was still winning Grammys at 77. John Wheeler illuminated our ideas of the universe at 70. And Roger Crouch was 56 when he first went into space. Your best is yet to come. 
Tonight, the Christmas season has officially begun. There's nothing like celebrating the holidays with the ones you love. Look who's here, Greg. My mother. What a surprise. But a big get-together can fall apart fast. He invited you here to get back at me. This was a spite invite. Just for that, I am staying for two weeks. Then, everyone's full of good old-fashioned Yuletide cheer. Well, almost. What do you want for Christmas this year? Gift card. card. Housewife and Fresh are all new tonight, starting at 8, 7 central on ABC. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. Well, we were talking about this story, how, how creepy these are. These stories we've been seeing a lot of, of uh, ring uh, security cameras being hacked on the mainland. That's right. And tonight, ABC's Marcy Gonzalez shows us more. New disturbing cases of hackers breaking into ring home security systems. Taking pictures of baby, I'm asleep. Using the popular device to spy on. What? And even extort residents. Pay this 50 Bitcoin ransom or else you will get terminated yourself right now. In Kansas, someone peering into the Norris family's living room. The f back down. Commenting on their every move. That tree is looking really, really good, guys. Don't put me down. Put me down. I have feelings. Our daughter's still creeped out. She couldn't fall asleep that night. And in Connecticut, this hacker's voice. Can you come here? I can't hear you. Following a woman. Hey, 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 come here, come here. From room to room. I feel violated. Somebody was looking at my home, looking at my family, watching us. Ring saying in a statement, we have no evidence of an unauthorized intrusion or compromise of Ring's systems or network, with experts explaining this is all part of a larger security issue impacting the ever-growing market for home devices connected to the Internet. It's not a breach of Ring accounts. It's that they're finding breached passwords and usernames from other incidents totally unrelated and then checking to see if users of Ring accounts have reused passwords on multiple services. And Ring says there are several things you can do to protect your security, including using strong passwords, updating them regularly, and as inconvenient as it may feel, using different passwords for everything you do online. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. KITV4 reached out to Ring to find out whether any Hawaii customers have reported similar incidents, but we're still waiting to hear back. Yeah, just so creepy. Good to know that, though, especially with the holidays coming up, yeah. people getting those home security systems. And like uh, she was mentioning, I mean, it's inconvenient to have to use different passwords, but definitely be safe yeah, than sorry. Yeah, you don't, don't want that. Well, a new exhibit opens tomorrow at the Bishop Museum. Yeah, and this one's all about surfing. Pretty exciting. It highlights surfing's history and how it developed both technically and culturally over the years. Among the exhibits, you can check out surfboards from legends like Duke Kahanamoku and Rel Sun, as well as some recent uh, champions of the sport like John John Florence and Carissa Moore, plus this. We have on exhibit here what is probably the oldest surviving surfboard anywhere, and it probably dates from the late 1700s. That means it predates, or it was about the time that Westerners first came here. That's pretty cool. There's also a surfing simulator before you get out on the waves. Maybe yeah. test it out there first and a surf, a surf forecasting exhibit. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's going to be on display until May 3rd. So you got a while to check it out. Pretty cool stuff. Well, new from the Valley Isle, the Maui Humane Society is waiving adoption fees for all animals through the end of the year. That's thanks to a donation from the Savitt Family Foundation. Spay or neuter surgery will also be covered for all dog, cat, and rabbit adoptions, as well as a medical exam, first vaccination, microchip, and 30 days of free pet insurance. Can't say no to that face. Hopefully though. they all get a home. Yeah. Well, coming up on KITV4 Island News at 10 o'clock, it's been almost two centuries since Christian missionaries came to the islands. Yeah, we'll tell you about a special display at the Capitol that remembers their arrival, changing the history of Hawaii forever. Plus, a middle school on Oahu's west side showing some Christmas spirit. We'll show you the music video they created that goes viral. And when we come back, a last check of sports and weather. You're watching KITV4 Island News. We'll be right back. This segment is sponsored by Navian Hawaii, formerly Hospice Hawaii. For 40 years, Hospice Hawaii has provided expert hospice care to patients at the end of life. Now we're adding Integrated Care, a new service that delivers specialized help to patients with serious illnesses before hospice care is needed. 
As we expand our services, our name will also be changing to Navian Hawaii. Now providing care for every life journey. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. We are islands connected in the deep at one with the elements. We are caretakers connecting with generations to come. We build on the work of those who came before us. Connecting inspires us to rise beyond. The rhythm of our lives brings us together. We are vessels of aloha. Love connecting all. In ways big and small, we make a difference. In the moment of connection, we are all ohana. Past, present, future. When we connect, something beautiful happens. Give the gift that keeps on sipping this holiday season at Jamba Hawaii. Buy 25, get 5. Receive a $5 Jamba reward card with every $25 spent in Jamba gift cards. And try our new PB Wow Cacao Bowl made with organic cacao powder, creamy vanilla frozen yogurt, and peanut butter blended perfectly for that undeniable wow factor. Or indulge yourself with Hawaii's favorite chocolate mood smoothie. It's joy to the Jamba world. Celebrating 20 years of blending aloha. And welcome back. We got a week in review with our island picks. The full moon on Wednesday over Mauna Kea. Thanks, Donna Carey, for sending that one in. Big waves started to build on pipeline. Sarah DiBello caught those waves on Wednesday, and then it got really big on Thursday. Gary Miata caught these monster waves out on Waimea Bay. Huge waves are coming down, but uh, we are expecting some leftovers tonight. Five to eight for the north tomorrow, three to five for west shores. Relatively dry right now across Oahu. We've got more rain, though, pushing towards Kauai, and we're expecting our rain chances to go up tonight, so we will see some scattered showers throughout the night. Into the weekend, Saturday morning clouds and a few showers, but I think in the afternoon we'll start to clear out. Sunday, lots of sunshine and overall should be uh, not a bad weekend. Cody. We're holding it down for the defense this week. Hey, come out this week, support the LB squad. LB squad. Back at practice and let loose as UH football getting ready to let loose on BYU and the SoFi Wide Bowl coming up on Christmas Eve. This marks three out of four years that UH has played in this game. Winners in 2016, losers last year. We're going to have more this weekend coming up on KF4 Island Sports. I always look forward to that. Yeah, Thanks, should be back to Christmas Eve, though. I kind of, I mean, maybe not the greatest for the fans because they want to spell it Christmas with their families, not at the football field, but nationwide. I, I remember always sitting home, just tuning in, watching Hawaii on Christmas Definitely. Eve. It's kind of a tradition. So. Especially when you're from the mainland and you got snow, it's nice to dream about Hawaii and uh, where, the, where <laughs> they're playing go. out here. So. Absolutely. Well, a physics professor in Virginia is going viral for his in-class antics. Yeah, he's making sure his students learn and have some fun along the way. Brendan Ponton introduces us to Dr. David Wright. It's not nailed down to the board, see? Dr. David Wright's classroom at Tidewater Community College in Virginia Beach is full of energy. <laughs> I've got some energy. I'm really pleased that I've got energy. Where do you get all your energy from? I don't know. It's just there. But it's good to show that this energetic uh, production makes a difference to students. And that energy has captivated his students for more than four decades, and now it's gotten the attention of millions online. I just posted it, and it just blew up. <gasps> Sophomores Kiera Brothers and Erica Church just took his physics class this semester. And Church posted a video of some of his demonstrations on Twitter, and now millions have viewed it. I'm not enthusiastic about what I'm teaching. They're not going to be either. And it's that enthusiasm that's led the video to go viral, with a video of him lying in a nail bed <laughs> or jumping on a pogo stick. <laughs> Wright says he has a simple goal 
get the students to care. Try to get them excited about science, not just to learn it and pass the test. I want them to leave the class thinking, this is amazing. We can understand the entire world around us now. And now his message has taken off. In Virginia Beach, Brendan Ponton. What an awesome teacher. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't get hurt there. There's some <laughs> dangerous things he was doing, I saw. And I got a little push from the reporter at the end. That's, that's actually my uh, buddy from uh, University of Maryland. Oh, good nice. show. Reporter there. That's yeah. awesome. Good awesome package. Awesome teacher. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for being a part of Hawaii's only hour-long 6 p.m. newscast. You can stay connected by liking us on Facebook or by following us on Twitter. You can also find KT before Island News on Roku or download our app. We'll see you tonight at 10. Have a great night. Have a great night. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. Pacific Honda is your state-of-the-art dealership right on the edge of downtown. With the fully covered air-conditioned showroom, Pacific Honda offers the best prices, best service, and the best selection in new Hondas right now. Stop by and celebrate our 50th anniversary with us with a great deal on a new Honda. Take advantage of our low leasing and financing deals. Plus, come down for a test drive and a chance to win a trip for two to Las Vegas, courtesy of Vacations Hawaii. Pacific Honda, home of the happy Honda lovers. She wanted to move someplace warm. But he wanted snow for the holidays. So we built a snow globe. We'll get that later. But the one thing we could both agree on was getting Geico to help with our homeowner's insurance. What? Switching and saving was really easy. I love you! Sweetie, hands off the glass. Ugh. Call Geico and see how easy saving on homeowners and condo insurance can be. I love her! In the heart of the Whitworth side lies a beautiful sanctuary, Kina Ole Estate, where everyone is treated with love and respect because we believe you should expect more from senior living. They're loving and warm, not only to the residents, but to the families that come to visit. Kina Ole Estate, I like it because, you know, my mom enjoys it there. They're super duper, I mean, really good. Kina Ole Estate, enriched, dependable senior living. Call us today to make an appointment. Holiday shopping just got easier with the one gift that always fits. Never the wrong color, never out of style. Give handed goodness with our classic cookies or our exclusive holiday flavors. Perfect for family, friends, or work. Welcome to the You Mailed It gift. Give Aloha 